Hello and welcome to Who Wants to Be a FIFA Millionaire, the quiz show that can make you, the audience, a FIFA Millionaire in just 15 questions. In the previous episode, we did get quite a good suggestion from Atari. I'm not too sure if it was in the edit or not, but basically the leaderboard at the minute just has FIFA points. So what I'm going to do is keep the FIFA points there and we're going to add how many correct questions they do get. The only thing about this is, um, obviously Tom has not done, I think at Curbs as well, um, haven't done the whole 15 questions, so they're going to have a lower correct number of answers anyway. Um, but yeah, I think that's a better way just to find out who actually does have the best FIFA knowledge. Um, but yeah, shall we find out who today's contestant is? Let's play Who Wants to Be a FIFA Millionaire? Today in the hot seat we have a FIFA YouTube and streamer from Liverpool in England. On FIFA 20, he managed to snipe a min-listed Johan Cruyff. It is the one and only Homeless Penguin. Yo, it's good guys, how you doing? How do you think you're going to do today, Rob? Uh, how, how's, how's the FIFA knowledge level? Well... I d we did just have a little chat a second ago where I mentioned I'm a foot fan, right? So I've been playing since, was that 2009 maybe? I think it was nine because I actually started, I think, in 2010, something like that anyway. Yeah, so in 2009, like you had to pay for it. You'd, like, it was a DLC and everything you had to pay for. So, like, I've actually been playing FIFA Ultimate Team for as long as it's been. As humanly possible. Yeah, but <laughs> I still have no confidence in myself for this. Because that's the thing, like, you, you remember, like, I've remembered certain bits, and obviously you'll remember different bits, and, you know, if you did this kind of quiz thing, you'd come up with different questions, so I understand the, uh, you know, difficulty side of it. We just have to wait and see, mate. At the, at the end of the day, it's it's fifth points for the viewers anyway, so I won't be... I'm, I'm not going to take it for myself, am I, let's be honest. No, we, we did have a tardy odd last week, so uh, if he? you haven't checked that one out, yeah. Oh! I won't reveal, I won't reveal <laughs> what what he did. Oh. <laughs> that video is out, uh, well, it'll be out now by the time this one's live, so make sure you do go check it out. Okay, 15 questions, Rob. Three lifelines, a possible 100,000 FIFA points. Best of luck. Let's play Who Wants to Be a FIFA Millionaire? Okay, question number one is for 100 FIFA points. What is the in-game currency that allows you to buy items on FIFA 21 Ultimate Team? Is it A, coins, B, cash, C, silvers, or D, chips? I thought this is going to be a trick question, and it? It's going to be like something, like you're going to put FIFA points in there as well or something. All right, okay. A, coins, final answer. And that is the correct answer. Well done, you've got the first one correct. Can, can, I, can I take the money? <laughs> what, you just want to go and get a few lifelines? That'll do. <laughs> Get my 5k pack method going. There you go, mate. It's all you need. <laughs> Question number two is for 200 FIFA points. What is the highest rating a player can be on FIFA 21 Ultimate Team? Is it A69, B79, C89, or D99? Honestly, like for the memes, I, I literally, you know, <laughs> but I've got it. I've got to go. I've got to go with the truthful answer. Here. It is 99. I can't remember what letter that was, though. Uh, it was D. Okay. Yes, we did. D. A, B, C, D. <laughs> D99. Yeah, D99. And that is the correct answer. Well done, Rob. It, it would be kind of, I don't know, a little part of me thinks maybe they should go into the hundreds and then you've got more range in a card. Because at the minute they're kind of capped. Like like a Messi will start at 93 mm -hmm. and he can only go up by like six ratings. The way they're doing on FIFA Mobile is so good. Like you can, you can have 100 rated plus cards on FIFA Mobile and trust me like that. The system that they've got in place there is really good. I think it's only a matter of time before they integrate it into like console ultimate team. Yeah, they just they just like to pad out their uh, new stuff into the game. They mm -hmm. could put more stuff in each year, but they're like, oh, we'll do this much work this year, and then we could do less <laughs> yeah. work next year. Just wait until people complain about the game, then we'll make it better. <laughs> yeah, basically. That's actually what they do, though, isn't it? Like they yeah. they 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 hold <laughs> stuff back instead of making the game really good to just make it. Uh, do you know, a little bit better when people get really angry. Like, what? Question number three is for 300 FIFA points. What rating is future stars Curtis Jones on FIFA 21 Ultimate Team? Is it A84, B86, C88, or D90? Uh, I, I, I don't know where I got that 89 <laughs> from. <laughs> right, so this is actually where it's starting to get a little bit more tricky, but I did do him yesterday. Right, I, I know so, I know his rating, it's just you always second guess yourself. He's 88 overall. Final answer. Now you're making me scared. But yes, final answer, 88. And that is the correct answer, well done, Rob. I, li I like to put that little bit of <sighs> tension there just to 
I don't know, put you in a bit of a discomfort. Could, but, could you uh, imagine if I got that one wrong? Of all, I'm sitting yeah, here wearing a even, Liverpool cap, Luke. Like, I know. I, li- I like. I like to do the rating one, like kind of specific to each guest. Mm. So that one, I thought I'd, I'd do a Liverpool player since he's a new one. Um, have you? Which which version did you pick? Did you pick the centre mid or the left mid? I went with the centre mid just because, like, that's the one you kind of have to go with. But I did want to use the left mid at striker, but. I, like everybody's picking the sentiment. To be fair, he's doing a solid job for me, playing him CDM at the moment with a shadow. Yeah, I've I've got the centre mid just to get those links to the uh, Rooney card. Obviously, there's not Same. not that many good English centre mids. No. Um, is quite meta. So, yeah, th- I, I don't know the left mid one. I think a few people have taken, and he's got much more pace and dribbling. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. He's I got thought, like a hundred less in game easier. stats. Really, yeah. I didn't realise that. Mm-hmm. Here's your next question for 500 FIFA points. What was the physical card stat previously displayed as on the card? Is it A, heading, B, strength, C, power, or D, jumping? So what one are we relating to here? Physical? Yeah, so what was the physical stat? On the like six card stats, yeah. what was physical before basically? Yeah, it was I might, I might have worded that a little bit too. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, heading, are you, are you going for that as your final answer, Rob? Yes, I think that was A, wasn't it? Heading. <laughs> Yeah, and that is the correct answer. That that was one that, I don't know, I think most people would know, but I thought I'd just throw it in there anyway because they have obviously changed it. To, I think it was like FIFA 14 or 13. It's it's actually quite it's, longer than you think. Yeah, it's, it's been changed for a while now, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. Mm. What, what's goalkeepers? Has that always stayed the same? Yeah, positioning, speed, reflexes, handling, diving and kicking. Yes, they didn't change that, did they? All right, cool. No. Question number five is for 750 FIFA points. What is the highest possible in-game stat boost a chemistry style can give? So basically when you put a chem style on a player, what is the most amount, like let's say for for example interceptions, can it go up by 5, 10, 15 or 20? What is the most? It might not be for, do you know what I mean? Yeah, but I actually don't know this. Ooh. But you understand the question. I'm trying to like. Are you talking the about the in-game stats, like not on yeah, the card? Yeah. So the in-game stats, do they get boosted by a maximum of 10, 15, 20, or five? Oh my god, this one's tough. You know, because I know, I know that like Hunter gives like plus ten pace, plus ten shooting stuff like that. But the in-game stats, would it be ten or fifteen? Oh my god, how do I not even? It's got to be between between 10 or 15, it just has to be. I would think it I would think it is probably 10. Like a plus 15 would just be ridiculous shot. Plus 15. You do have all three lifelines, right? I know, I'm thinking are. of going with a 50-50 here, but it's done this early on. The only thing is I don't really pay attention to that. It's got to be plus 10, but I think I'll just use the 50-50, Luke. Why not get it out of the way? Rob's up to use his 50-50, and the two remaining answers are 15 and 20. It's got to be 15, then. Final answer. You were pretty you were pretty confident at 10, Rob. You were like, that's that's got to be the correct answer, but then you use that lifeline, and you do have the correct answer is 15. I think I'm not 100. I think there's like certain ones like agility and balance go up by 15 if you're using like a... I don't know. You know. I think maybe like finishing or something like that. Like the base value of the card, right, can only go up by ten. Yeah. So like you know, you put a hunter on, isn't that plus ten shooting, plus ten pace? I think so. Yeah. So I think, uh, that's where it's confused me a little bit because the mm. in game, so the in game can go up by fifteen. I think that is like a little bit of a trick question. To be fair, I don't mind using my lifeline on that one. To be <laughs> honest. Question number six is for 1,000 FIFA points. You get this one correct, you're guaranteed 1,000, Rob. You have two two lifelines remaining, so I'm not going to lie, Rob. You might be the earliest somebody's used a lifeline, but I think that question was a little bit of a... I don't know. It was a bit of a hit and miss one. You kind of knew it or you didn't. Mate, um, hey, it's, yeah, better, it's better to use an early lifeline than to go out early. Exactly. You could you could have been that person that went out with zero. So <laughs> look, at, look at the bright side. Which was the first league that had the Milestones Squad Foundation objective released? Is it A, Championship, B, MLS, C, Eredivisie, or D, Liga Nos? I don't know. Can you repeat them again? Yep. So we've got Championship, MLS, Eredivisie, and Liga Nos. So the players, you get like I re- three I remember players, the players from each league. I, re- I remember yeah. the players. I just can't think which one come first. 
I'm thinking it might have been Championship first, to be honest with you. Um, MLS was like Bojan, Championship. They had like King and stuff in there, didn't they? And the guy from Blackburn, Bradley Dack. Our division had like Graven Birch. That, that, that Graven Birch card couldn't have been early. It couldn't have been. Championship, Eredivisie, Liga Nost, did you say? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even remember Liga Nost getting one. What was the other one? Uh, MLS Championship, Eredivisie. Oh yeah. I mean, I I think it's going to be the championship here, to be honest. But imagine if I don't even get a thousand FIFA points, mates. <laughs> it's got to be between Eredivisie and Championship because MLS surely that was later on. Yeah, I genuinely don't even know if I should use another lifeline already. <laughs> oh, Do you no. want to guarantee that thousand, Rob? Oh, no! Shall we, shall we ask the audience or phone a friend? <laughs> I, might, I might just say if I get it wrong, I'll do the 1,000 thief point giveaway. I, re I reckon they couldn't have done Error to Visi that early, surely. I think it's championship, Luke. I'll lock it in. Final answer, Rob. Final answer, I think, yeah, Luke. You had two lifelines, Rob. I know. And records are there to be broken. And the correct answer was actually MLS. MLS? Yep. The MLS so, was first? Yeah, because they had Lima, Long, and Bojan as the first who, e who even cares about the MLS, mate, honestly? <laughs> who even... How do you even remember that stuff? Who even cares about the... Oh, well, at least I didn't have to use my phone a friend and stuff like that. Right, <laughs> it is what it... I'll do the 1,000 thief point giveaway. There we go. <laughs> That's actually shocking, that isn't it? Oh my god! At least, at least on the leaderboard, it gives a bit of context now. Because at the minute we've got loads of people on one thousand, twelve, twelve, and then I think twenty-five um, k. So you're, you're, you know, you've, you've got that zero. I respect that it, mate. I'm in a league never... of my own. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. You, you're literally breaking records today. But we do, we do carry on with the quiz anyway, Rob. There let's, let's see. There wasn't league and Oz, was there? No, I, I yeah. had to, because there's only three, I had to make up a league and I was like, w I think I was either debating between the Turkish league or Liga Nos or, you know, one of them, like, not the top five leagues, basically. I genuinely thought it was MLS, though. T uh, sorry, <laughs> Championship, to be honest. Yeah. That was a while ago now. It, wa it was a while ago, like, I will admit, I don't know. That w I don't know if I made this one a little bit too hard in the first, like... No, no, maybe, it's probably just me pushed. being stupid as all, Luke, it's yeah. fine. <laughs> <laughs> there, everyone else would know that one but me. I don't do them. I don't do them. I've not That's done any thing, of them. Like, if, if you don't play that area of FIFA, you won't remember no. what order they, like you got them. No. Um, I, if you could have asked me what were like the players, I would have been able to say the players. But I didn't know which order they got released in. Who is the top goal scorer in the current season of the Premier League? Is it A, Harry Kane, B, Bruno Fernandes, C, Dominic Calvert-Lewin, or D, Mo Salah? Luke, how is this one meant to be harder than the previous one? It's D, Mo Salah. But you are, you are a Liverpool fan. Yeah, but every... So. That's such an easy one, dude. That's... Well, I mean, if you watch football, it is at least anyway. I guess. I guess it is. D but yeah, that is the correct answer, yeah. Warden Rob. <laughs> Maybe maybe we should just do a bit of editing and just switch. They're gonna those they're gonna two seem questions. so much easier now though that I'm out, aren't they? Maybe that's the thing because I think when you have got that pressure there, you kind of don't think, but then mm. when it's gone, you just kind of naturally get the questions right. Who is the lowest rated final Future Stars Academy player on any FIFA Ultimate Team? So basically, the player that the top end one that you can potentially get to. What the lowest rated? Yeah, so the oh, lowest rated a Dad out James, of the top. James, like 79 or something, hasn't it? Book I'm, not, I'm not even giving you the... I've not given you the options there. It's Dan James 79. <laughs> um, no, so I mean, like, the top player that you can get as the final Future Stars Academy, yeah. if that makes any sense. So we've got Mock, Cucurella, Dan James, Reyna, or Martin Odegaard. Or well, Dan James. Final answer. Final answer. <laughs> And that is the correct answer. Well done, Rob. Mate, this is that, a joke, isn't it? <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if I've done you with that milestone. Well. I don't Mate, know if I've the, put that in the wrong place. It's my fault because I don't do them. I could I could literally share screens to you now and show. I have not started a single of those milestone cards. Because I know. <laughs> like, I always have loads of coins on FIFA. Like, those cards are not going to be worth for me. Yeah, they, like in the first couple of months, maybe. But after that, it's just they're not, they're not good enough. If, if you're somebody that does them, that's going to be such an easy question. But I'm not one of those people, unfortunately. Question number nine would have been for 4,000 FIFA points. 
Before becoming an icon, who was the final team Robbie Fowler played for on FIFA 11 Ultimate Team? Is it A, North Queensland Fury, B, Blackburn Rovers, C, Cardiff City, or D, Perth Glory? Uh, I would say Queensland Glory. Fury, but... Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Who was the Glory one? Uh, Perth Glory. Perth the... Glory. Um, he, he definitely played in Australia. It's just that first one that you mentioned to me definitely rang, rang a bell. Queensland Fury or Perth Glory? Was that right? Yeah, they both rhyme. <laughs> Somehow. They're, they're both real, right? <laughs> yeah, they're both real. <laughs> Sure, the Aussies in the comments will know. Yeah, well, let's let's put it this way, Luke. I think it's between those two teams. Was it an Australian team then? His final one. Well, you you've got to decide that for yourself. Hey, I, 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 I'm out anyway. I'm gonna go with number. <laughs> a. I'm gonna go with A then, just because that's okay. the one that I fought originally. And it was actually Perth Glory, so it was D. Um, it was D. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think he. Pl I think they're not on FIFA. That's basically what I was kind of asking there. Like, what was his final FIFA card? So he played for Perth Glory. Then I think he moved to North Queensland Fury, but obviously I think they're in like the second Australian Australian league or something. Um, ah. So yeah, bit of a bit of a difficult one that is. I will I will admit, but I like I like the like icon and what their previous club was on FIFA. If that makes any sense. Trick question. He was never an icon. He was a legend. <laughs> have I actually have I done myself there? You have done yourself. I don't <laughs> think he was ever technically an icon. He was a legend, wasn't he? Should we, should we do that question again? Ah, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got done on that on the previous... No, the pre episode It's literally the same that. thing, though, isn't it, Luke? Let's be honest. Yeah. The, so I actually had a question on when it changed from legends to icons. And the way I worded it was basically wrong, but I had the right answer, if that makes any sense. So right. FIFA 17 was the last... Was when it changed, or when it was last an icon... And then it moved to... Uh, anyway, let's move on with the quiz. A bit <laughs> of a, is it, there's so many complicated things I make for yeah. myself for no particular reason. Question number 10 would have been for 5,000 FIFA points. Which of the following teams have not had a future stars player in each of the year the promo has run? Is it A, Ajax, B, Barcelona, C, Bayer Leverkusen, or D, Lille? Hmm. So it's, so it's been FIFA 19, 20, and 21. Just and which of these to... teams have not had a player on each of those years, basically? Like, never had one? So they've had they've had future stars. But just not but in all three. what I'm asking is... Yeah, that's, that's what I'm asking. I'm trying to think if... <clears throat> Ajax... No, I'm, I'm glad that I went out early, you know, because I would have just... Jesus Christ, I would have been crumb I would have been sitting here shaking right now, not knowing what to say. Um <clears throat> trying to think of future star cards. Trying to think I think it was like purpley on FIFA nineteen. So what was it? Barcelona? Ajax, Bayer Leverkusen and Lil. Is it Ajax? Final answer, Rob. Well, did they have one this year? I'm trying to think of an Ajax card this year. This is the problem. Like, yeah, I'm going to say Ajax. Final answer. So you don't think they've had one on FIFA 21? Who would Ajax's foot future star be on FIFA 21? I can't even think. He's Brazilian. <laughs> Who is Anthony. It? Oh, Anthony from this new one, isn't it? Yeah, he's like, he's dead expensive as well. He's like 700k. The correct answer was Barcelona. They had one on FIFA 19, not on FIFA 20, but then obviously back for 21 with... Um, Dest. Who was it? Dest was it Fatty, and, was uh, it? Fatty, yeah. Who was... Yeah, they didn't have they didn't have one on FIFA 20, basically. That's that's what the question was. Who you was the one on 19? Um, Arthur, who plays at Juventus now. <laughs> Arthur was a fluffy star. <laughs> yep. Mad. He's 84 rated. You know. Yeah, I know, but he's like he's got like ten pace. So you just assume that he's like he's old. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, Anthony Team Two. I've not looked at Team Two to be honest with you because I've just not really I think been that Team One. He might have been Team One. Was he? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I, I, no, he's know. Team Two, I, surely. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> See, Luke doesn't even know when he's the host. 
Which of the following two players received a bronze screen card in FIFA 17? Is it A, Akin Femor and Emre Moore, B, Akin Femor and Opara, C, Clivert and Opara, or D, Clivert and Emre Moore? Yeah. Oh, wait. <clears throat> oh, I remember Emre Moore having one at Borussia Dortmund, isn't it? But was it Akin Fenwar and Emre Moore, or has Akin Fenwar always been a silver? I don't know. I'm going to say Akin Fenwar and Emre Moore. I remember, that is the correct answer. I remember uh, Jack 54 HD used to love that Emre Moore card. I think he was like a million coins, wasn't he? Yeah. He was a ridiculous price for... I don't know, he had, he had good stats, and I think there's kind of been a, like a crossover when... They kind of brought it back with silver stars, but like previously, mm. like you could use bronze and silvers, and I think seventeen was about the last year you could do it. Like eighteen, nineteen, and twenty, you just couldn't use like bronze and silver players because they were just awful in do, comparison. Do you know what, Luke? That question right there is so much easier for me than the likes of the Bobby Fowler <laughs> one. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but uh, like that's your like your yeah yeah it's exactly it's memory exactly. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm, yeah, true. Here is your question for twelve thousand mm -hmm. FIFA points, Rob. On FIFA 11, Asmir Begovic changed nation to Bosnia and Herzegovina, but what nation did he represent before? Is it A, USA, B, Russia, C, Canada, or D, Serbia? I do not know. I, literally, I do this not know. This was a know. very... I, I didn't know this until I saw it, and it, I thought that was a brilliant question. I don't know if many people will know this, but I thought I'd ask it anyway. So what year was this? Uh, FIFA 11. So on, on FIFA 10, he had a card from either USA, Russia, Canada, or Serbia. Was he even good back then? Um, he was bronze. He was probably that much. Okay, okay, okay. He was a bronze. Asmir Begovic. Hmm. I think he might have a hobby that kind of is very heavily associated with one of these countries. So that's kind of ruined it a little bit for me. I'm going to assume that he's Canadian and the hobby is hockey. <laughs> and that is correct, Rob. Well done. He I was. He do was Canadian. Little. Yeah, he was Canadian. I did, I, I don't know if he actually is a hockey fan or not. He could have, I don't know, he might have been some <laughs> Petr Cech, Russian. Petr Cech is the hockey guy. Yeah. Like, I know that. But I think, Be I'm, I'm pretty sure Begovic plays hockey as well, but I could be wrong. But yeah, that was a really good nation change one because most of them are like French to African nation. So mm. I, like, I like to make, But I the like thing is as well though, ones. being a bronze card, nobody would have paid attention to Begovic changing no, nationality. No, but like, if you've like seen his Wikipedia page, you'll see like Canada under 21 appearances and stuff like that. Interesting, interesting. If you ever do that. Mm. Yeah, I've, I've, I've searched for Asmir Begovic on Wikipedia all the time. <laughs> <laughs> thing is, do I do that kind of thing? I'll like, look through a squad and then I'll look through the like past... I don't know, I'm a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> Exposing himself on his own channel. Yeah. Question number 13 would have been for 25,000 FIFA points. Which of the following Premier League teams have received the most amount of special cards on FIFA 21? I'm not including like UCL the same rating basically are you just talking um, about informs then or literally like yeah informs promos okay okay you know spcs and stuff like that. objectives um my nights have got to be up there but go on is it a manchester united b tottenham hotspur c liverpool or d arsenal the thing is liverpool have had like rule breakers van dyke they've got future stars mm -hmm. curtis jones oh i wonder do you, do you count them as two yeah i've counted curtis jones as two because it's two separate oh. just because there's other cards that also have two of the same. There's, so like Bruno Fernandes yeah. has two play of the months and stuff like that. There's yeah. been like a couple of position change. Like there's been position change for Bino. There's been team of the years as well. Um, Spurs, I'm trying to think. Son player of the month. Mishum and Son in form. Harry Kane, real breaker. Um, I, I would, who was it? So it was Spurs, Liverpool, Man United and who? Arsenal. Can't be Arsenal, surely. <laughs> but I, I would think it would be Man United, to be honest with you. I, I can tell you, Rob, that it's there's a one slash two difference. So it's technically one. So it's but between it's Jones between Man United two. and Liverpool, then. I'm, I'll give it. Yeah, I'll give you that. <laughs> Are you going to go for Man United? Is that your final answer? Bruno's had the team of the year and player of the months. And they've had like a, a couple of informs as well. Yeah, Bruno's had so many special cards that I think it'll be Man United. But then again, they didn't have a player. The they didn't have a player the group stage because they got knocked out. Whereas Liverpool had the Trent player the group stage. I, I did say Man United first though, so I'll stick with it. 
and it was actually Liverpool. It's uh, by two, technically one, but I counted Jones as two. But it, it would have been my, it would have been Liverpool anyway because Man United have got twenty three, and uh, Liverpool have got twenty four slash twenty five. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Very very tricky question that was, but uh, you kind of you can kind of get a feel for how many you know you thought like Bruno's had a lot. So but yeah, it was pretty close in the end. The the team of the years, the team of the years won it for Liverpool then. I wrote that question a couple of weeks ago, and I think it's actually changed basically so that's I don't ah. know, maybe you got it in an unlucky time just where it <laughs> went quite tight which of the following nations do not have a single gold player on fifa 21 ultimate team is it a north macedonia c curacao or curacao i'm not 100 percent sure i'd say <laughs> how can you ask the question if you don't even know the nation <laughs> it looks like curacao it's actually netherlands antilles again like i mean this is meant to be tricky isn't it they don't have a gold card. No. Surely Saudi Arabia have got a gold card. Um, that Curacao, though, like, is that one of those nations that they actually have, like, <sighs> secretly it's ne- have it's some Netherlands good Antilles. players? It's Netherlands Antilles. It's a weird one, because when you um, look on the card, it says Curacao, but then on the, you know, if you, like, flick the right stick... What does the badge say, look like? Like the flag? It's, like, blue with a yellow star and then a black diagonal thing <laughs> no idea no idea um saudi arabia have definitely got to have one so who it was north macedonia they definitely have one surely what that 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 pandev isn't he macedonia that's for you to decide rob i think i think that pandev is macedonia it, it, he might even be silver nowadays pandev he's, he's about 40 now isn't he <clears throat> <laughs> is he not on FIFA still? He might not. I don't know. There's definitely a different one that's gold, and you will remember yeah, as the striker. soon as I tell you him. No. No? Not, not. But is, is he a midfielder, centre mid? I don't know. I don't know if Pandev is still Can I, can I go going. on footbin and have a look if Pandev's there? <laughs> is Pandev not... No, he, wait, he's at Genoa. What? Genoa? Yeah, he is. Pandev's there, mate. Look at that. Is he gold? Yeah, but it's FYR Macedonia. Is that difference? Oh, let me check. Is it a different? He's got he's got a uh, a special card which is like. Oh, he's got a hero. Week. So I didn't actually realise that he had a gold special card. Is that just messed up your question? Was it Macedonia? No, no, no. There's another <laughs> Macedonia gold anyway. Oh, okay, okay. So we, I'm, we've I'm got three go, more nations to go through. <laughs> I'm gonna go that Kura card then. Just because I don't Fine know answer. the R, mate. <laughs> May, maybe. It, Right, if Kurakal has got a goal, tell me the player and I'll let you know if I know him. He's a... well, I'll tell you after, basically. Is that, is that your final answer? Right? Yeah, final answer. I don't know what I don't okay. know what Kurakal is, mate. I have no idea. Never and heard the, of it. The correct answer was actually Saudi Arabia. They don't have a single goal. Oh, I thought they had like an informed yeah. goalkeeper or something. Like, I don't know. That was a, that was a tricky one. But yeah, um, Kurakal have a goalkeeper called Room. Like literally spelt just like Room. Room, like a Room. Yeah. Interesting. I've seen this guy before. Yeah, yeah. MLS. Yeah, I, I know. I know this guy. To be fair, that's not a badge that I. I don't think I've ever seen that flag before. But it's weird because if you flick the right stick, it will say <laughs> Netherlands Antilles. But then they're called Curacao if you click click on like the right stick. So I don't quite understand why EA have got two different names for the same country. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, I've I've seen that card before, a hundred percent. Because I know um, MLS goalkeepers used to be pretty expensive for uh, an SBC or something. So I've I've definitely seen that card before. It's just one of those nations I literally have no idea what it is. Yeah, and the Macedonian player, I didn't realise Pandev actually had one. But the <laughs> one I, I was thinking of was um, the right back. Rist, yeah, Rist, Ristoskovsky, whatever his name was. And uh, there's also Bardi actually. So there's a few from Macedonia. I just knew Pandev. I, I would have assumed, though, that Saudi Arabia had, like, a gold goalkeeper or something. Here's your final question, Rob. It would have been for 100,000 FIFA points. You know what Rob actually DM'd me was, I'm not going to need my phone a friend. Because <laughs> he was, like, trying to be confident that he would get there. <laughs> <laughs> not a chance, mate. <laughs> I did put a winking face at the end of it, Luke. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Which of the following current English Premier League players have never received a bronze Team of the Season card? Is it A. Callum Wilson, B. Mikel Antonio, C. Patrick Bamford, or D. James Tarkovsky? Interesting. Um, Very tricky question. 
I'm just trying to... Right, so Tarkovsky would have been in the championship. Um, <clears throat> did you say Patrick Bamford? So, like, they're currently playing in the Premier League, but these team season cards might have been outside of the Premier League. Yeah, but it's, you only get yeah. bronzes from, like, the... The yeah, 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 most consistent yeah. I just, bronze team. I want. I, I made. I wanted to make sure that you didn't like confuse and think. Oh, because he's not in the Premier League when he got that card. But yeah. Anyway, let's let's carry on. Has Mikhail Antonio ever played outside of the Premier League? Is what I'm trying to think. So I'm thinking it might be him. Who was who was the other ones? Uh, Bamford, Tarkowski, and Wilson. who? Carol well, Wilson. Wilson's definitely played in the Championship, right? I I don't Champions think. League one. I don't. I don't think. I don't think uh, Mikhail Antonio's played. Maybe he was on loan. Actually, I'm gonna say Mikhail Antonio. Final answer. Mate, I mean, I was. I was out with no money anyway. So yeah, final answer. Why not? That is the correct answer. Well done, Rob. You, you would have won a hundred thousand feet. Boys, I've done it. Point. Boys, I've done it. Right. How often do people get the final question right? It's actually quite a funny one because, like, they. I don't know. I don't know if I do something with like the the top end question that it's so difficult that it's answerable. Do I'll you have, think I'll have that to go through. was my was my like process like the um, perfect? No, because he's okay. actually played for Nottingham Forest. Was he good for them? <laughs> yeah, he got a team of the season silver. Ah, okay, interesting, interesting. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he had a crazy season. Then I think he moved to West Ham for like five million. Fair enough. And I, at least I won. At least I won, Luke. I am I yeah, am a won. winner in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and I will be very... paying for the for the thief point giveaway. Don't worry. And that, that is very generous of you, Rob, because uh, I don't know. I think <laughs> I mean I, I didn't think... get anything, so I may as well give them like at least what the minimum is. Yeah, that was a very uh, entertaining video anyway, Rob. Um maybe not the level of um suspense that we normally have because we usually <laughs> get to like six or seven or eight questions in um, but at least you get the record of being the worst on this series there, there's you know some kind of award you can, basically you can put it like oh my god this has never happened before first time ever <laughs> can't believe like people might think that i'd won <laughs> yeah we could i did that with danny aaron so i was like something's happened that never happened before and i, I put like a tweet that had a gif of all the confetti fall and everything so Ooh. i might do that again for your episode just, just to get the people in. Or, or um, that emoji of everyone like slapping the head. <laughs> <laughs> like the gift, you know, where it's like it pans like that and it's like loads of people in the crowd or something and they all like face palm. But yeah, if you haven't checked out Rob's channel, make sure you do go over there. He does uh, very good sniping videos if, if you do enjoy sniping. Um, you did get a Johan Cruyff, didn't you, Rob, on the previous FIFA? So, a mint you know, price one, yeah. Yeah, so you, you must have made like what two million coins on that or something. I I, I didn't even sell them in the end. It's just oh, you didn't club. sell them. Nah. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> you you took the win and just went. Yeah, that'll do. I'll That's keep it. Him. Mate. Um, but yeah, make sure you do leave a like if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, and see you soon. Bye.